Welcome to Sounds Heavenly. We're at Bang & Olufsen of Lincoln. We're going to meet the owner Gavin Sykes and uh, find out about what I think is probably the best vintage B&O collection in the UK. So I'm here at uh, Bang & Olufsen of Lincoln, STB Brackets, with Gavin Sykes. And uh, Gavin is the uh, lucky owner of uh, the collection we're going to look at. So uh, thank you Gavin for letting us uh, come and view Hello. this. You're welcome, you're welcome. But a lot of the information I have comes from the Gensbang book, um, which many of you will know. Uh, I think it might be out of print, I'm not sure if it's available. I think it's out of print, but right. there are a good few of them about. Yes, yes, yeah. I've got a few myself, uh, signed by Jens. Um, before he sadly died. So a lot of my knowledge comes from, from the book. So I'm just gonna put that down now and then look at one of my favorite radios. I, mean, I have a lot of favorites, but um, I'm going to look at this. This is from 1937, and there are two products in this shop from 1937. One of them you know really well already. So that's the, the bottle opener. And the bottle opener, which you you could possibly have, but you will probably have seen, um, was designed in 1937 and has been in production uh, in various forms ever since. Um, and as I say, this is my favourite, which is the Hyperbow Junior, uh, one of my favourites. And what I like really about it is the, the Bauhaus influence. So it's, it's from the cusp of 1936 to 1937. It's actually called uh, the model is the 37K, um, but I especially like the form and the, the action here. Uh, and you see there, droid, which there, there are some, uh, because it was yeah. shortwave, um, they would pick up uh, reception from all around Europe, and you'll see various Leipzig, Milan, Berlin, Hamburg, there's quite a lot of German stuff yes. on there, of course. <laughs> um, but I, I'm very, very fond of this one. I yeah. love the, the, the Bakelite insert. And of course, Bang & Olufsen and Bakelite is something we're going to talk about in a moment, Steve. Yeah. Um, they started making knobs uh, in 32, I believe, uh, and little fascia panels. And then later we go on to the Bakelite radios, and the, the Bakelite radios are the one that uh, are, are most highly prized by most collectors. Yeah. So I just put him back. Okay. He's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I do like that one. That's yeah. a, he's a nice really one. Nice. It took me a long, long time to find it yeah. because it's not in the Bang & Olufsen book and it's not, that's the 80th anniversary book. Yeah. It's also a 75th anniversary book. It, neither is it in that. But one of my contacts uh, in Denmark, who really does have almost everything, he gave me a catalogue from just post-war that shows every single Bang & Olufsen made up until that time with its price and how many valves, which valves it had in it. It's all very exciting stuff, if you like valves. Yeah. Um, and this was in there, so that's how I know specifically that it's from 1937. You would expect it to be from 37. Okay, Bakelite. Um, yeah. Bagan also started making knobs and, and fascias from Bakelite in, I believe, 1932. Uh, but the first radio uh, came out in in 1938, and it's the Beolit 39. A great many people know Beolit 39. Um, there are some interesting aspects to this um, that, that possibly not everyone will know. The grille design comes from the classic Buick Model Y, yeah. which is a Harvey Earl design. So it came from an American motor car, and a lot of people get the grille design. Um, but what what we, we won't necessarily know is, without looking at it close up, is this, this came out, although it's a bit 39, it came out for Christmas 38. So when you look at the, the Scala, the, the printed area, yeah. um, it says on it, B.O. Light 39. Oh yes, yeah, with the extra E. With an extra E, which was an error. Right. So B.O. Um, this was the first time that the BO prefix was ever used on any product by Bang & Olufsen. Right. Um, yeah. And the light, um, or the lit, 
and we'll have a look at that any second now. The BO light will be like, it came from Bakelite. Um, yeah. So there was a, a Belgian guy um, who, who went to America and he discovered uh, how to make this, this very first plastic. So that's where the, the BO is for, for BO, Bang & Olufsen, yeah. um, and the light for the Bakelite. So in error, the scholars were printed with BO light. But if I turn one of these round, in fact I'll turn this one round, okay. yeah. uh, then you will see when they moulded the casing, Aha. it was actually BO lit, BO lit yes. without the E. Wow. Um, uh, this, this one is quite light because I've taken the speaker out of it because I, I, I have loaned this out to Bang & Olufsen dealers for exhibitions and the like and the speaker's very heavy, she's very, very fragile, yes. Bakelite it is a fragile material, uh, in fact you can see there's a little crack in it just here um, and yeah. prone to, to just disintegrating and so I've taken the speaker out just to reduce the, the, the weight of the machine. Uh, so right here is another BLF 39. And I want to show you now the principal problem with printing on glass in this ink. Ah, and yes. you can see quite clearly there, what's happened is that this at some point in its life has been in a dampish area. Mm -hmm. And the, the two different inks, you can see quite different distinctly there, the difference in the two inks between the green and the white, yeah. uh, they've mushed and migrated and, and, and started to slide so the squares are no longer squares. The letters are okay actually. Yeah, it's quite still readable. Um, however, some enterprising Dane has produced this and I've never fitted it, Ooh. but there is, you can see, Faithful reproduction. Yes. That's glass. Again, with you can see with the incorrect BO light. So he's made it authentic. He hasn't been oh, tempted. Yes. Yeah. Been tempted to put BO lit, and he hasn't been tempted to capitalise the the L either. No. The capitalisation came much later. Yeah. Uh, so it was lowercase. In fact, there were only BO lit radios until I believe 1947, right. um, when the BO masters were introduced. So, um, let's remove these two, Steve. So, okay. BO lit, yeah. BO light, 39. And then these two are from the following year. So these yes. are from 1939, which is kind of the outbreak of war. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> and these are the BO lit 40. And you can see there's a slight change. Now, we do now have BO lit instead of BO oh, light. And in capital. And it's capitalised yeah. completely on this one, as yes. opposed to just the letter. Yeah. Um, I should hasten to say, I don't know which ones of these work. Because right. everything's uh, medium wave, long wave, or short wave. Yeah. Um, and my interest is just in having nice things. Yeah. So whether they do or don't function, oh, I'm never going to listen to long wave. No. Well, well maybe test my special, yeah. I don't know. But in essence, I just like having nice things. If you, um, if you look at the, the 240s, you can see the variance in colour. And this was the first 40 I got, um, probably uh, 12, 15 years ago. And I assumed that they were all brown as opposed to black. Right. But then I subsequently acquired another beer at 40, which was black. Um, and so I'm, I'm unsure as, yeah. as to... And, and on the rear here, you can see very, very similar to the BLF 39 that we looked at. You can see the BLF 40 on the, on the case. Yeah, and that's not capitalised, so that they kept the same. Yes, yeah, it, 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 yeah I'm, not, I'm not sure what they were thinking when they were doing it, but um, and yeah, there are the four there, you can yeah. see all four. Excellent. So moving on from this design, there was a wooden version of this, and the wooden version which is called the Jet 505. So here is the Jet 505 from 1949. So wow. 10 years or nine years after the Bakelite, they produced this. That will not be the original cable. No. Um, or I don't think it will be. Um, and here she is. That's incredible. That that's swapped sides, hasn't it? That's right. It? Yeah, yeah. So they've kept the same 
speak of grill design, actually I'll just, I'll just stand her in here so yeah. you can see. But yeah, they've reversed the, the sides over. And so far as I know, this is the only copy of a product that Bang & Olufsen have made. I don't know of any other where they've produced a product yes. and then later reincarnated it as a newer model. I do only have one. Yeah, I do like that, but there's something about that that's uh, really yeah, special. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't appeal to me quite the, in no. quite the same way, no. That's the great thing about what you like and what you don't like. Everybody right, likes yes. different things. Yeah, super.